What is going on, everybody? This is Josh back again with another video. And man, I've been wanting to review this for so long, ever since it came out. I wanted to give a little bit of a break. That way people can actually watch it. It's The Ranch Part 8. Now, this is the final, final season of The Ranch. It's the final part. Now, I think it's, I can't remember what it is, but I think it's like four seasons all in total because each part, one part is half a season. The next part is the remaining season. So I think, I, I think it's like four seasons. It's all on Netflix and it's only like 30 minutes long per episode. So it doesn't really take that long to actually watch a full season or a full part. But I've been wanting to drop this video, but after that, just stuff just started happening. But either way, let's just get into it. Now, The Ranch Part 8 picks up right where Part 7 actually left off. Now, it did leave in a huge cliffhanger. You ended up finding out that Nick is back in town and Bo and Colt do not like the fact that this guy is back because they feel like he's at fault for what happened to Rooster. I mean, not really feel like he's at fault because in reality, he is at fault. He basically told Rooster to get out of town and if you don't get out of town, then I'm going to end up killing you. And then Rooster ends up getting out of town but they end up seeing that his motorcycle like fell off a highway or something like that. And then he basically died. Now, in reality, he really didn't die. They just wrote him off because of the whole Me Too movement stuff. So that's why he's basically off the show. Now, when it actually left off where Nick got shot, there was a couple of things that I actually thought would actually happen. Now, if you've seen my first review of part seven, if you haven't seen it, I'll definitely drop a link in the description so you can check it out. But I actually said the one who actually killed Nick is going to be Mary because, of course, she's starting to do drugs. I think she was doing like heroin. And if, if you get in the, in, the, in the way of a heroin addict, they're going to do whatever they can to get their drugs. So I kind of felt like it was Mary because of the whole drug addiction thing. And then my next assumption was Heather. Now, the only reason why was because of what Nick actually did to Heather's mom, Mary. Mary was this actually good person who was working, had a house, had a family. And ever since Nick came into the picture, everything went down the drain. She became a drug addict. She lost the house. Everything just went bad for Mary. And Heather feels that Nick is at fault for that. So those were my two assumptions. It was going to be either Mary or Heather. Now it does pick up right where it left off. I'm not going to tell you who killed him right now. I'm going to wait a little bit more. I'm going to try to see if I can break this up into episodes, like little by little, so I can name off a little bit of things that actually happened. But I'm not going to tell you until the very end. So if you haven't seen it, stop this video, go check it out, and then just come back and we can just pick up where we left off. But let's just start right here. So part or part eight, episode one, right when it picks up, like there's a couple of things that happen. You end up seeing Colt go into the trailer. You end up seeing Bo go into the trailer. And Mary is actually there. She's actually all beaten up, bruised up. And right when that happened, I, I thought, okay, they actually killed him. But it does let you know that it was like two hours earlier before it actually happened. So Mary's all bruised up. She's all messed up. You can tell she's been sh uh, shooting up as well. Bo and Colt actually stay in that trailer. Um, I think Luke also shows up and he actually takes Mary out of the trailer, takes him to uh, Bo's ranch and Bo and Colt just stay at that at that trailer because they're waiting for Nick. Now, hours pass by and Nick still isn't there and they're like, you know what? There's no it's kind of like they were angry when they actually went there. But once they actually got there, it's like their common sense came through. It's like they're like, if we kill this guy. We're going to go to jail forever. Now, Cope, he has a family. He has Abby. He has um, his daughter. And uh, Bo, he recently got married with, I can't remember her name, but he recently got married with her girl. And she has Alzheimer's. So he knows he has to take care of her. So it's like, if you end up going to jail for killing Nick, then you're not, who's going to take care of your family? So they, you know, common sense finally come through and they just actually leave the trailer. Now, when that happened, I was like, okay, who, what happened then? Who killed them? As they're leaving, Bo makes it to his ranch. The only one who doesn't make it is Colt. He ends up getting a phone call. And right when he gets a phone call, like that's when that scene happens. Nick ends up getting shot. 
Now, this is the first thing that actually came to my mind. He got a phone call and the one who actually called him was Rooster. Now, I know with this whole thing of Rooster being gone that they weren't going to bring him back. But I thought they were they were going to figure something out. Like they were going to bring him back somehow. And Rooster was going to be the one to kill him. Because, you know, Bo, or uh, Colt gets that phone call. And he's secretive throughout the whole time. He doesn't let anybody know who actually called him. He doesn't even let anybody know who actually killed the person. Because automatically he already knows who killed him. And automatically I think... It's Rooster. I, at least I was hoping it was Rooster. So at least you can know this. It's not Rooster. Rooster does not come back whatsoever. They're playing it off as he's dead and he's going to stay dead. And I guess just it's, it's not going to be Rooster. But since Colt was the last one at the scene, he ends up getting out of the trailer and the cops are already there waiting for him. They end up taking him into custody because, of course, Nick's body is in the trailer and Colt is the last person to see him. Luckily, there is a time frame where they can actually say that Colt wasn't there during the killing because he has an alibi. Like he was at a store buying something or stealing something. I, I, I don't remember what it was, but it was funny when he was actually explaining it, that he was actually he wasn't at the murder scene because he was at the store robbing them. <laughs> it, it was hilarious, but... That's basically what happened. He had a little bit of an alibi and he was off the hook. So now it just came down to who actually killed him. And, you know, you start thinking of who actually did it. And you end up finding out that Luke ends up being one of the suspects who actually kills him. Now, I'm not going to get into it on who did it. So just keep in tune. So one thing that does happen, I was hoping that Bo was going to be able to keep his ranch. In the beginning of the season, you already see them looking for another house to live in because they have to be out of that ranch within a certain amount of time. Now, I was hoping something was going to happen that they can actually keep the ranch. But little by little, you see them actually you like they I don't know if they put a down payment on the house, but they're actually interested in this one house. And it's like they're going through the whole steps. And I'm thinking something's got to happen that they actually get their ranch but it just keeps on going and going and i'm slowly thinking that all right they're not going to get their ranch it's going to end where Bo is basically going to be kicked out of his house so you end up finding out as episodes continue to run that he is going to end up losing his ranch now there is a couple of things that actually happened during this uh season um Co and luke they're obviously getting in an argument with each other because of their partnership and Coat ends up getting pinned like there's like this big old fence there and the truck that he's driving it ends up kind of like rolling back and it pins him and then from there he's basically stuck it's freezing cold outside and he's just stuck right there there's nothing he can do now of course he does use siri to try to like leave a message or call somebody but since it's so windy siri can barely hear him now in my opinion i kind of felt like this episode was actually kind of dumb because Throughout the whole episode, Siri is talking to Colt and like it's just this whole thing of they try to make it seem like it's Rooster who was actually talking to Colt, but it was talking through Siri's body, which is the phone. I See, I don't know. I think it was kind of dumb, but within this time, he finally realized that that Colt is wrong, like the stuff that he's been doing to Abby by lying to her. He's wrong for doing that. So he finally gets saved. And then it comes to a point where he wants to tell Abby the truth. So he ends up telling Abby he knows who killed Nick. He doesn't want to lie to Abby no more. So he wants to tell her the truth. Now, since Abby doesn't really want to know what happened, he's like, just keep it to yourself because I really don't want to know about it. So I, I don't know. Their, their, their relationship is kind of like ups and downs. But I was actually happy that they were able to work it out and they were actually able to be back together. So one of the, th the 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 big things that actually happened within the, the ranch was Colt's herd. Now they end up getting like one of the like the 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 cows that they have end up getting like an STD. I think they called it like trench or church trich something like that. It's basically like an STD, and you know and ended up giving it from one cow to another cow. And I guess that's actually a really big deal. I mean I don't know nothing about ranching. I don't know nothing about it. So. I guess it's really huge that it can actually run them out of business. And Colt is trying to find out who actually gave his cow that STD. And it turns out that it was Lisa Newman's bull. Now, 
he tells Lisa Newman about this. Instead of actually just leaving it alone, letting that boar infect the whole herd of Lisa Newmans, he actually tells Lisa Newman about that. The main reason why he does it is because Bo tells him that's what ranchers do. They basically take care of the ranch. So he ends up telling Lisa Newman about what happened. And instead of her saying thank you or like, oh, oh my God, thank you. She ends up saying, I'm going to sue your ass because there's no way my bull got it from or my bull had the STD and it gave it to your herd. Your herd must have had it. And now you gave it to my bull and now it's going to be spreading all around. That that part actually pissed me off. It's like Code is over here talking to you, telling you this. He's being honest with you and you're over there talking about you're going to sue him. So she actually does sue him. She tries to take him to court and she's basically trying to run him out of business. Now, one of the good things that actually happened was the fact that Coat was able to find that the bull had the STD before he even got to the ranch. He was able to look up uh, a, a previous farmer for, that belongs to Lisa Newman. And he saw that that farmer has the bull in his Facebook picture. And that's basically where it all started. Now, there there, there was some sad things about this. I mean, it, one, I think one of the, the, the really sad parts about it was Luke had one of his um, brothers who were at war with him in Iraq. And it's like that guy was trying to start up a business with Luke. And they were trying to become partners. Now, Luke didn't want to leave Colt with the whole ranch. So he actually told that guy he doesn't want to do it. And then the next day, the guy ends up killing himself. Now, they do end up going into like, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like where a lot of veterans, they end up getting into a circle and they start talking to each other. They start remembering what happened during the war and how they can actually cope with it. I thought that that scene was actually really emotional because Luke finally opened up about what happened to him at the war. And the story he told was sad. Like it, it broke my heart that this actually happened. And so a brief, kind of like a brief story about it. So Luke ended up becoming friends with this one guy who was in Iraq. And that one guy was like a vendor. He would like sell food or fruits or something like that. So he kind of like became really good friends with that guy. And, you know, a couple, it, it made it seem like a couple of days ended up passing by and that guy who supposedly was his friend, that guy ended up having a gun. And it's like they end up going to war. Luke ends up going into like a door and that guy is pointing the gun at him. And if it wasn't for that friend who actually killed himself who to, to kill that guy, Luke would have actually been dead because Luke actually froze. He didn't know what the hell to do because he saw this guy as a friend and he ends up stabbing him in the back because of the whole war. And it, it was just really sad at the fact that Luke finally opened up and it talked about this veteran who actually killed himself. Now, I know that this actually happens. I, I don't really know much about it. I just know that it does happen, but it was heartbreaking here. So we ended up getting to like the very end of the episode and Coat ends up going to Lisa Newman's um, house and she he ends up telling Lisa Newman that he has proof that his that her bull gave his herd the STD. So he ends up bringing out a phone. The phone ends up having pictures of that guy, like I mentioned, that who was on Facebook. And of course, it, that that's not enough because of course photos can be photoshopped. So it's like that's not enough. But luckily, he was able to use GPS to actually translate where that guy was at or where that bull was at because rooster had the he used to work for lisa newman so he knows all about tracking the bulls to, to make sure where they're at at a specific time so thanks to rooster he was able to tell that that bull was in lisa newman's possession when he actually got that std and spread it around now what actually happened here was amazing <laughs> instead of actually talking about it i'm about to react to it let's check it out It's Christmas Eve, you sitting in here all by yourself? That's another thing I forgot. Oh, this I all happened in Christmas, friends. so I don't know why they, they didn't release they this during the Christmas season. People. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I get it. 
a long time. I get it. You never get it. <laughs> Bo is so funny, even when he's not even trying to be funny. Birthday. I promised I would save it for a special occasion. Nothing ever seemed big enough to open it. Not even the birth of your two sons? I said what I said. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, you doing gifts now? Well, it's not the shape of a book, so I already like it. <laughs> Throughout the whole season, Colt has been trying to get the Call of Duty game. It's hilarious. <laughs> this, this is about the Call of Duty game, but I just thought that that was funny. Take us to Disney World? <laughs> I'm going to Disney World? <laughs> Are you effing asking me right now? I think you don't like it when you swear. See, I, I've already seen this, but just re-watching it for the second time, it's you still funny. To go once or twice. This is... This is the best gift ever. I mean, this, this is a lot better than that year. You got me a bunch of job applications. <laughs> whole family's gone but I will tell you right now I am not drinking out of or riding in a fucking teacup <laughs> oh. <Hey. laughs> alright okay I, I got you something to oh, there it is. yeah Keys. This is where it gets I emotional. Think it was possible to get a worse gift than the birthday you gave me a Coors five pack. <laughs> I proved to Lisa Newman that I didn't call it a trick. Trick. That's what it was called. The lawsuit. And then we got to talking business, and she needed to clean cows, and I had some, so. I sold her my herd. The price was the Iron River Ranch. What the fuck, Colt? Just, just hear him with his I voice cracking. The most important thing in the world is home. Been through some fucked up times over the last years. We always had a place to come home to. So emotional, man. Peterson Ranch is gonna make a nice house for me and Ed. The Iron River will always be the Bennett family home. Look at her back. God. I don't know what to say. This still gets me, man. I love you, son. Oh my God. Oh. oh. I'm getting goosebumps just, but oh, oh, I'm starting to tear up a little bit. That, that, that's the second time I actually watched this. And it still gets me. That his emotion was so believable. God, I actually love the way he actually acted in this. I, I thought it was amazing. So if you didn't catch that, Bo ends up getting his ranch back because Colt ended up selling his whole herd to Lisa Newman. And the price was the ranch just his reaction to it it was so it's like one of those moments that you feel so sorry for him but it's like you're so happy for him because of what actually happened oh my god a couple of people actually hated the way they ended this series i actually love the way they ended this series he ended up losing his ranch towards the very end he gets his ranch back he ends up giving colt a hug tells him that he loves him if you've been watching The Ranch since the very beginning of this season, you know Bo hardly does that. He hardly gives him a hug. He hardly tells him he loves him. He hardly tells him that he's proud of him. I mean, you hear it once in a while, but not that much. He's like one of those tough dads that he kind of reminds me of my dad. Like he's 
kind of like tough on you. But then once he shows emotions, you just start breaking down crying. God, that's how the season should have ended. I love the fact that they actually ended the season this way. So I can actually say that this season was amazing. The whole ranch series was amazing. If you haven't checked it out, you got to go watch it. I love this show a lot. It was really, really good. Let me know in the comments what you guys actually think. Let me know what was your favorite part. Let me know if that part actually even made you tear up a little bit. It gave me goosebumps. I was tearing up a little bit. I had to clean my eyes. It, it got me. It was really good. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment. And especially, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Man, I swear, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I went through the whole review. I started talking about certain things and I just got caught up on Bo's moment that I forgot all about to let y'all know who actually killed Nick. Now, of course, if you've already seen it, you know the person who actually killed Nick was Heather. And I was right. <laughs> so either way, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment and especially do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.